In our last video, we summarized the M-Control system architecture once again, and then began to look into two of the special software tools available within the M-Control family. Initially, we began to look at the M-Control service manager, which allows you to configure drivers and system settings for the M-Control engine. In this video, we're going to begin looking into the M-Control editor. The M-Control Editor is the configuration tool that we need to use to set up day-to-day -day operations. For example, defining the devices that are within the, our digital home, the zones that we'll want to embed these devices within, and macros that we can run on these devices. So let's begin our tour of the M-Control Editor. So we've installed M-Control. Then what we did is we used the M-Control Service Manager to select, enable, and configure the drivers we wanted to use. We're ready for the next step, which is to use the M-Control Editor to configure our digital home, define the zones and devices uh, that are going to be used. To do that, we'll enter the, we'll leave the M-Control Service Manager and go to the M control editor by entering the M control editors URL into your browser. The first part of the address of course is the PC name. I've chosen localhost because M control is running on the PC that I'm currently working on. However, if you have M control installed on a different PC, you can specify the PC's name or IP address. In fact, you can actually have this so you can set up to remotely access M control editor but that's out of the scope of this video so uh, let's just continue so localhost then slash M control slash editor dot ASPX once we enter that we're brought into the M control editor and you'll see a lot of tabs here and we'll review them uh, briefly but the main tab is our default tab which is our zone tab the Zone tab gives you an overview of your configuration. The zones that you've assigned, as you can see, we have four zones. First floor, living room, second floor, office. And you can have embedded zones. For example, I have living room embedded in the first floor. And these, uh, within each zone, we can see the devices installed. So in the first floor, it looks like there's one device. In the second floor, there's four devices. Uh, in the office there's a uh, camera installed and the cameras just come up. So this is a summary. The zone tab provides a summary of the current configuration. From the zones tab we're going to jump around a little bit to look at the more important tabs. The next tab we'll want to review is the devices tab. The devices tab provides a summary of all the devices that are configured and defined within the M control database. As you can see we've got five devices here. We can choose a device and we can find out what type of device it is. We can find out which zones this device is associated with and if there's a lot of devices we can use the filter to quickly search and find and edit that device. Another tab, similar tab, is the cameras tab which provides a summary of all the cameras in the system. We've currently got one camera defined, but we could have a view of multiple cameras. From here we can define recording schedules and review recorded videos. From here, let's skip to the Macros tab. The Macros tab allows you to define automation. As opposed to manual operation where you'll want to press button presses here to operate a device, macros allow you to automate actions. Let's quickly look at an example here. I've written a small macro that will run at 11.10 p.m. every night to operate LAMP 2. We can look at more complex macros in future videos, but to give you an idea, this macro runs automatically without my presence. The Settings tab allows us to define our location, and this will come in very handy because it allows us to quickly calculate our 
sunrise and sunset time we can use these values in our macros the about tab is a summary of M control the version we're running whether there's updates available and our license status there are a few more tabs left in the M control editor but we're not going to discuss them in this video the M remote tab the commands tab the module maker tab and the settings tab give us access to advanced functionality of M control the commands tab for example allows us to define infrared or IR commands and other advanced functionality and the M remote provides us access to control AV devices and the like we'll discuss this advanced functionality in upcoming videos but for now let's summarize where we're at we've installed M control we've used one of the special tools called the M control service manager to set up and configure our drivers then we've used this tool the M control editor to configure the devices the cameras the macros that we want to have to operate our digital home we can quickly get a summary at the zones tab and beyond this basic functionality we can start incorporating advanced functionality like that provided by M remote to create a very powerful control center for our digital home in our subsequent videos we're going to start investigating more deeply into some of this advanced functionality so until next time we'll talk to you later